May I invite you to just take the space you feel well in. And then we have a starting exercise which always contains this theme of the course. And that's funny because it's always the same exercise, the theme changes. And how does now this starting exercise contain the four senses, the four lower senses? Just let's try. The exercise is that you just use your hands as a symbol. I use my body to really arrive at yourself. Take your time to feel your center, your chest, your heart and the breath and let it react because you might notice when you feel it, it starts reacting. And then turn your hands as if they would form a little bowl and then lead this I feel myself feeling through the body downwards and go down and down and just, I'm streaming down. But secretly, you also observe yourself. And just by noticing what's going on in yourself, you might notice it makes me upright. I stream down, but it makes me upright. And maybe tall. And then let go. Let your breath react and make a step forwards or backwards. That's the exercise. And those of you who have practiced more often with me already know that we are looking for this effect. I'm streaming down, but the countercurrents, which come about by themselves, do not do it yourself. They make me tall. Yeah. Do, let's do it one more time and then I will reveal how I perceive the four sense qualities in this exercise. Use your hands to arrive at yourself. Do not necessarily touch your chest, just through your hands feel yourself. And then notice how the, everything is reacting to it, the breath reacts. The volume of the chest reacts just because you perceive it. It feels perceived. Turn your hands. Lead your sensation of presence. I feel myself downwards. Stream downwards through your legs, through your feet, into the earth. And notice what's happening in the body, you stream downwards and this in increases your sensation of becoming light. Maybe even the heels come a little bit from the ground just by you streaming downwards. And let your breath react. Be happy and make a step forward. Not because I tell you be happy, but noticing the body says thank you. Yeah. If you allow it to react like that, just by perceiving it. We do it a last and third time just with my indications. And you know, the sequence of the lower senses, if you go from start with the sense of touch, is sense of touch, sense of life, sense of movement, and sense of equilibrium, balance. It's from first material aspect to water, air and warmth. And we start now using the hands to arrive at yourself. You feel yourself. It's a way using the sense of touch. You touch yourself. Then you perceive the reactions there's coming life about, the body becomes lively, it says thank you. The rhythm of the breath changes, life perception. 
And then you start leading this downwards. You give it a direction. You move through your body. And you use your sense of movement to keep the streaming down alive. And then through perception, the counter currents come into being, making you light. Caring for equilibrium. I'm not just streaming downwards. I'm also feel lifted upwards. And it feels so light. And then relax and breathe. Just touch your dear little hips, left and right, yeah? And just feel them, yeah? Attributed to the hips. And Libra is a sign of, yeah, it speaks, stays for balance. And it's a sign of air. And if you just feel your hips, and they have their hands at the left and right side, you can just lift one hip a little bit and create the feeling of lightness at this side. And then you let go. And then you lift the other hip and create the feeling of lightness and let go. So we do not lift the hands. I lift my hip and the hand just like a feather likes to fly. And I lift the other hip. Yeah, and maybe you can step a little bit. Yeah, one step forward. One, you lift the hip, that creates lightness, and the step can go forward, and you touch softly the other hip upwards, and all this lightness coming from the hip. The air, Libra, this hip makes the hands rise. And the other hip, and stop. And first arrive at yourself, that's my suggestion. And then let go, because then you let go within yourself. And that again carries you. So great. It's just to enjoy it. We have this balance element. We can find in our body nearly physically. And if it didn't work at all, you have the same effect as somebody where it works perfectly, because it only matters that you try to have a sort of connection between the movement of the hips and sensation of lightness, getting, your, getting it to move your hands and carrying your legs. <laughs> and <coughs> either it comes by itself or it doesn't come. It's just trying to detect these connections. Okay, we do it one more time, just to enjoy. Hip, and it makes my foot light, and the arm. The other hip, hip. How was it when you were 17, the women of you? Huh? Hip, you were playing with this quality. And again, hip. And just try to notice this lightness on this side of the body now, and the lightness of that side. And maybe even if you don't feel light now, we just try to felt the lightness, even if we cannot incorporate it. No problem at all. And then just stand and relax. When I speak about the wings of the human being, I differentiate between the Wing, back wings, the middle wings, and the upper wings, you could say. And we now work with the wings of the shoulder blades, the wings in the back. And just turn the hands, that the back of the hands looks backwards, like your shoulder blades. This enhances the sensation of having wings a little bit. And then just try to let your arms rise without any weight. Oh, so beautiful. And if they get stuck, you're just looking for what to have to change in my body. Ah, yeah. And now they continue rising. Great. And that's when they're up there. And don't worry how high they go. No problem. 
then you just try to have an awareness that as, as if there would be a parachute, they are carried downwards. Weightless. You don't have to do anything. That's the experience of weightlessness. I'm not doing it. It's just happening. One second time. Let go first. Relax. All these expectations. No. Just interest. Is it going to happen? And if it doesn't happen, I try a little bit and maybe suddenly it starts. We just try out. So I'm feeling the back, feeling the arms and hands. Try to, how to have to sense my body, my arms and the rise. And stop wherever when the arms start hurting, you just stop. And you let them sink again. And this wing is attributed to Venus, to the A or so. And, to, and Venus is the leading sign of Libra. So we have a connection there. And now maybe just stand in front, that you can make a few steps backwards. Create these wings again to prepare yourself for the wings. And now do not just only let them rise, but use them to send in the space behind. And when you let them rise, try to have a sensation. It's inviting you to go backwards. You are just following this invitation. Oh, you are bringing me home. Great. And then when you are behind, the arms are up, you just let them sink again. And as if it is as if you would be accompanied, somebody really carries you forward. You feel who is bringing you. I am brought, but also protected. I'm not just open, I feel the being which protects me. Yeah? One more time. Let the arms rise and feel how this is carrying you and the sensation towards behind, which you have just to follow it. And then let go. And this letting sink the arms slowly brings you forward. Yes. And then breathe. The sign or the gesture for balance is just one arm on the other in front of your heart. Shoulders relaxed. Where does this gesture come from? What does it want us to be experienced? Equilibrium, it's the Libra sign. And just to start with, just put your hands down there. And then it's so easy nowadays to create a streaming upwards, just by giving a little bit of tension into the arms. And if you feel your body, you will notice, oh, that feels really, very nicely grounded, great. And then you turn the hands and then you create the streaming downwards. With the hands, with the head of that. And you notice, oh, that makes me even tall. And then you can get, that's not that difficult. Just try a few times and then it will happen. And you can even, and if it happens, you can even get go a step further and try to have the impression you are not lifting your arms and create a stream upwards, but you create a streaming upwards which carries your arms. So depending on what you feel like, try the one or the other. Yeah. So I try now 
I sense a stream upwards, which carries my arms up. And then I turn, and I'm not doing it with my hands, I just sense this stream downwards, which carefully that streams downwards and my arms are embedded in it. And breathe. One last time, a stream upwards. Carry my arms. Sometimes you succeed better, sometimes less. And then turn and either you create the streaming downwards or the streaming downwards carries your arm downwards. And now is the question, if you could stand upright, just remember this nice feeling from the beginning body is in a sort of equilibrium, then one arm, the left arm is pointing downwards and the hands are looking towards behind. No, that's not that important. It's just one hand is in front and the other. And now just try with the left arm to sense the streaming coming from below and with the right arm the streaming coming from above and then to bring the arms together and you still feel in your left arm the streaming going upwards and in your right arm the streaming going downwards and you feel it in your whole body. And the streams carry your arms, so after a while you take them away, that they don't get heavy, and relax. Equilibrium. Maybe these dreams like it, that we feel them. Maybe they work all the time in us, and nobody says thank you. We don't even, also not to say thank you, but at least we see what they are doing. Maybe that's even more. So one arm, right arm, archetypally is above, left arm archetypally is below, connecting with the streams coming from below. The right arm senses the streams coming from above. And they bring the hands together. And the hands have to stop, but the streams, the streaming doesn't stop. It streams upwards, it streams downwards. And the stillness of the hands is created through that. And you can listen into it, because the sense of hearing is connected to the sense of equilibrium. It's, it's a symbol in the ears, but in fact, from the zodiac signs. These are polar senses, sense of equilibrium and sense of hearing. And now, do you remember this a wing we have to just practice? And now stand a little bit in a way that you can make four, three, four, five steps forwards. And then just sense into the space behind again and let the arms rise again, but just sensing the space which brought you back previously <gasps> behind. Whoa, so beautiful. And then coming down, sensing the space behind which brought you forward. <gasps> so beautiful. Just have one hand below, the left one, the right one above. The left hand looks towards behind the palms of the hand. The right hands look towards the front to feel the backspace with the backs of the hands. 
different way of relating with the space behind. And then try to sense far wide into the space behind, but then let it come. And the space from behind comes and streams forward and carries you a little bit forward, but mainly it brings the arms forward. It brings the arms forward. And you just follow, and this dream, care bringing the arms forward, even makes them meet. Embedded in two streams, from behind to the front. And then let go. Return to yourself first, and breathe. So you have one stream, forward here. Just go back that we can do it two more times and then we will sit down in another stream from behind above which meet and move as slowly as possible. Just use your arms to, with the back of your arms, you relate to the upper beings which are behind you. With the palms of your hand relate to the lower beings or spaces behind you. And then they come, these caring spaces, carrying you, carrying the arms, caring for the arms. And without any pressure now, just by being streamed through, the arms find each other and rest completely, weightlessly on each other. And how does this feel inside? Return to yourself, let go. Try to experience that when the arms go forward, you, you, as you not stay in contact with yourself, your whole being is not just being pulled there. No, this being brought forward has something which comes towards you and centers you. So in the end you arrive in your inner being in which you feel the weightless resting of each other of the two arms. Last time, feel the space behind with the arms, the back of the hands above, the palms of the hands below. Let these energies come. Let these energies carry the arms. Let these energies bring the arms forward. Let these energies meet the arms. And then notice that this being streamed through, right through, makes the arms weightlessly meeting each other. And then look into yourself. Where do I also find these qualities? So nice. Return to yourself. Breathe and relax after this big bunch of work and exercises. Sit down. How does it feel like what we did? How does the body react to it? How do you feel your both arms equally? How do you feel your hands, your upper arms? What qualities live in them right now? How would you describe them? And when you listen to your hips, what do they tell you? There can be also pain and everything if the hips are, yeah, they are how they are, but what else do you notice 
what do they tell us, you? What's around them now? And how do you perceive your thighs? The sense of equilibrium is allocated to in its, in its essence. And the feet, which are, have a connection to the thighs. All kind of perceptions are welcome. And you do not have to have uh, fantastic perceptions and sensations. Just little things, tickling there, fresh feeling there. This feels bigger on the right side as on the left side. Things like that. Very easy things. The body is not asking for big presence. But he is grateful if he, if he feels our interest in it, in him. <laughs>